Why, hello there, grade fours. Remember me? Who can remember my name? Whoever I heard say Judy was correct. Wow, am I ever exhausted from that train ride from your school in Vineland, Ontario to the Cordilla region in western Canada. Did you notice how many days it took us to get to the Cordillera region? Without shouting out the answer, I want you to guess how long you think it took us to get to the Cordillera region from, Vi from your school in Vineland, Ontario. Can you close your eyes and raise one finger if you think it took one day by train, two fingers if you think it took two days by train, three fingers if you think it took three days by train, and four fingers if you think it took four, di four days by train. Hold those fingers up high. You may put your hand down now and open your eyes. For those of you that held up four fingers, you were correct. It took us four days straight to get to the Cordillera region from Vineland, Ontario. Well, boys and girls, now that we are here in the Cordillera region, I cannot wait to show you around and tell you some interesting facts about this beautiful region of Canada. The first thing that I would like for you to know is the name Cordillera means chain of mountains. Do any of you know why it might be called the chain of mountains? I would like you to brainstorm with the person beside you about what this might mean. I will give you two minutes, so put your thinking caps on. I heard some great answers. The Cordillera region has three mountain belts, so that's why it's called the Chain of Mountains. But we will get into more detail about this later on in this presentation. I heard from Ms. DeBacker that yesterday you learned all about the meanings of regions. Well, today I'm going to show you some of the common characteristics about the Western Cordillera region. Some common characteristics that I heard you discussed and that we will be talking about today are the provinces and territories in the region, the climate, the landforms, the vegetation, the recreational activities, the human activities, and the industries within the Cordillera region. The Cordillera region has two Canadian provinces and two Canadian territories. British Columbia and Alberta are two provinces. Northwest Territories and the Yukon are the two territories. The Cordillera region is about 1.6 million kilometers square or 16% of the land in Canada. As you can see in this photo, this is a fairly large region or part of Canada. Because this region is so large, the climate in the Cordillera region varies. The climate in the southern part of the Cordillera region is cool and rainy whereas the climate in the north, northern area of the Cordillera is much colder. However, for the most part, this region's climate is mild. This is because the Cordillera region is beside a large ocean. Can anyone guess the name of the ocean? I will give you a hint. It starts with the letter P. Quietly raise your hand if you know the correct answer. As Ms. DeBacker said, the correct answer is the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is located on the western shore of British Columbia and the Yukon. Provinces and territories within the Cordillera region. The warm and moist air comes off of the Pacific Ocean and causes rain because the air cools and rises. When this happens, the moist particles break away from the air to create per precipitation in the form of rain or snow. As I had mentioned earlier, Cordillera means chain of mountains. The Cordillera region has three main mountain belts. The three main mountain belts are the Coast Mountains, the Columbia Mountains, and the Rocky Mountains. The most well-known mountains are the Rocky Mountains. Quietly raise your hand if you have heard of these mountains before. The Rocky Mountains are well known because of the fact that they are the largest mountain system. Although there are a lot of mountains in the Cordillera region, there are other landforms in this reason, region because of its large size. Oh, silly Judy, I haven't told you what a landform is, have I? A landform is a natural feature on the Earth's surface. This means that landforms were created thousands of years ago and are not man-made. For example, the escarpment where you live in Vineland, Ontario is a landform. 
because it's not made by humans. It is a natural formation of... Created using Powtoon.